The new PSAT reading section also has function questions. A function question wants you to figure out what the function or the role or the purpose of a particular word or sentence or section of text is. So when you look at the question itself, you're going to see words like the references to the shoemaker, the programmer, the apple farmer, primarily serve to. That's an indication that we're dealing with a function question. But the biggest indication that we're dealing with a function question are the choices. And if you look at the first word of each choice, what do you see that they have in common? And what they have in common is they're all verbs. So what the question's asking you, essentially, is what this particular section of text is doing in the context of the passage, right? What is it doing? What is its role? Is it illustrating something? Is it emphasizing something? Is it demonstrating something? Is it calling something? So it's not going to be enough simply to paraphrase this. Certainly it's part of it. You have to paraphrase it, understand what it's saying, and then figure out in the context, in this case of the paragraph and even the passage, what is its role? What is it doing? Why did the author include it? So let's take a look at this question. The references to the shoemaker, the programmer, and the apple farmer in lines 37 to 40 primarily serve to what? So let's go ahead and underline just these lines so we can pay extra attention to them. And let's read from the beginning of this paragraph. The new technologies are inherently social and personal. They help us create communities around interests, identities, and common personal challenges. They allow us to gain direct access to a worldwide community of others, and they take anonymity out of our economic transactions. We can assess those we don't know by checking their reputations as buyers and sellers on eBay or by following their Twitter streams. We can look up their friends on Facebook and watch their YouTube videos. We can easily get people's advice on where to find the best shoemaker in Brazil, the best programmer in India, and the best apple farmer in our local community. We no longer have to rely on bankers or venture capitalists as the only sources of funding for ideas. We can raise funds directly from individuals, most of whom we don't even know, through websites that allow people to post descriptions of their projects and generate donations, investments, or loans. So what's the whole point of this paragraph as a whole? Well, the paragraph as a whole is talking about the power of this new technology, social media in particular, to allow people to make connections in in their communities, but more importantly, to under to make economic decisions with more information, to know more about buyers, to know more about sellers by looking them up, seeing what they're like, get people's advice more easily. So it's all about the value of technology in an economic sense. So what do these lines serve to do? Do they illustrate the quality of products and services in countries around the world? So be careful. We are talking about products and services. We are talking about products and services in countries around the world. But is the point of this to illustrate the quality? Well, we say, I guess the quality comes in with the word best, but it's not illustrating the quality. We're not being told in this sentence exactly how good or shown why these particular services or goods are the best in the world, uh, right? Or, or at least anything about their quality. This sentence is doing something else. It's giving another example, kind of like we had previous in the sentence in this paragraph, another example of the ways in which we can use technology to get more information about buyers and sellers in a more direct way. So A is not going to work, even though parts of it seem to work well. It's not illustrating the quality of anything. How about B? Emphasize the broad reach of technologies used to connect people. Yeah, notice we have a broad reach here, right? We can learn about the best shoemaker in Brazil. We can learn about the best program in India, the best farmer in our local community. So it does show how you can use this technology to connect people all across the world. So this fits as well exactly not only within the cited lines, but within the paragraph as a whole. The whole point of this technology is to help create communities, uh, around common interests, identities, and common personal challenges, uh, to gain direct access to a worldwide community of others, and this can help with economic decisions as well. So in the context, not only of the sentence, but also the paragraph as a whole, B makes the most sense so far. So we'll put a check next to that. Demonstrate that recommendations made online are trustworthy. Again, in some sense, this is what is being said, right? We can get information about the best shoemaker in Brazil, the best program in India, and I guess in some level that's going to be trustworthy. But the purpose of this sentence is not to demonstrate that. The purpose of the sentence is to demonstrate in some sense or emphasize that we can learn this information 
using this technology in a way that we haven't been able to do before, in a way that we're able to do with building communities, finding friends, and so on. So C is not quite right. D, call attention to the limits of the expansion of the global economy. Nothing here says anything about the limits of the expansion. If anything, just the opposite, that this is going to be a way to expand a global com uh, global economy uh, in a way beyond which we couldn't do before. So we can get rid of D, and B is going to be the best answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.